everyone. It is Tuesday once again, and your day just got a little better because you are watching another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today's video is on a great time-saving topic. We are going to talk about groups and how groups work for the shop floor employee when logging into Workstation Driver. So as promised, using groups is going to be a time-saving measure for our shop floor employees. Do you have employees that are logging into multiple jobs one at a time? If this is something that is known ahead of time, you can actually set up groups so that the shop floor employee just has to log into the group and they are logged into all of the jobs that are a part of that group. Pretty slick, huh? So we are here in Workstation Driver. Let's see how this actually works. Before class, I had made sure that Anthony Parker has available to access to be able to log in to groups. Those are under this transaction column here under group entries. Now right now Anthony Parker is actually logged into group 2000 which is these four jobs. We're actually going to log him into another group by clicking the new group login over here to the right. I'm just going to type in the group number that I had set up previously and when I click the green check mark we will actually see that he is now logged into group 1000 and if I highlight that line we can see the four jobs that group 1000 represents. So based on just one click he logged into four different jobs at one time. Now that might sound like a whole lot of fun but it does not stop there. Even in logging out we do some pretty amazing calculations for you. Workstation Driver is going to separate out the amount of time spent working on the group based on the estimated hours on each job. So let's take a look at a sample graph of how that works. Here I've got two labor hours that were entered in on a group of three different jobs. And we can see that each one of these jobs have a different estimated hours. And we basically entered in our two hours. So the first thing we need to do is Job Boss looks at the total amount of hours that was estimated for each job and divides that accordingly by the total estimated to get a weighted average. Then what we do is we divide out the amount of hours that was put in, uh, multiply it by the weighted average, so we can see that here in the fourth column, and that gets us basically the distribution of time for each one of the jobs accordingly. So let's go ahead and log out of group 2000 that he was logged into earlier today to show you exactly how that works. All I need to do is come over here to the group logout button and you can see that once I click that I've got options down below here where I can click on each individual job and put in my quantity RAM. Now if there is some change I need to make then my shop floor employee can go to whatever job needs to be changed and make those changes over here on the right, whether it be to labor hours, machine hours, so on and so forth. Maybe one of the jobs in the group they didn't actually complete or they didn't even actually start. So we'd want to make sure to make that change and divide up the hours accordingly. Once I've got all of my data entered in for what I need for the group, I just basically need to click the green check mark and that's going to go ahead and log me out of that group accordingly. So that is perfect. That is a great way to save time when clocking into a job or multiple jobs and clocking out accordingly. Now I know that is probably enough excitement for one day and one Tech Tip Tuesday video, but stay tuned for another Tech Tip video arriving in your inbox soon. If you would like further training on data collection and on groups, please reach out to our training team about the options that are available. Have a great day.